Recording in progress. We are recording and live on Facebook, so we're going to hand it over to our music team for praise and worship. sing we will sing 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 and make music with the heavens we will sing 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 grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise lift high the name of jesus we will sing we will sing, 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 and make music with the heavens. We will sing, 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 grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise. Lift high the name of Jesus. What's not to love? not to love about you heaven and earth adore you kings and kingdoms bow down son of god you are the one you are the one we're living for you are the love you are the love that frees us you are the light that leads us like a fire burning son of god you are the one you are the one we're living for we will sing we will sing 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 and make music with the heavens we will sing Sing, sing, grateful that you hear us as we shout your praise. Lift high the name of Jesus. What's not to love? What's not to love about you? Heaven and earth adore you. Kings and kingdoms bow down. Son of God, you are the one, you are the one we're living for. We will sing, we will sing, 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 and make music with the heavens. We will sing, 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 grateful that you hear us when we Shout your praise, lift high the name of Jesus. Sing, 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 
and make music with the heavens we will sing 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 grateful that you hear us as we shout your praise lift by the name of jesus sing 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 and make music with the heavens we will sing 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 grateful that you hear us as we shout your praise lift high the name of jesus who has known us forever dance to the rhythm of freedom and love rest and be sure in the arms of forgiveness join in the Savior's song I'm hoping I'm hoping for a brand new day where we stop all the fuss and the fighting long enough to look in each other's eyes and see the precious gift of every life sing to the one who has known us forever dance to the rhythm of freedom and love rest and be sure in the arms of forgiveness Join in the Savior's song. There's nothing, there's nothing that can take away all the love of the one who has saved us. We may walk, we may run or fall, but God is right here with us through it all. One. Sing to the one who has known us forever Dance to the rhythm of freedom and love Rest and be sure in the arms of forgiveness Join in the Savior's song Sing to the one Sing to the one who has known us forever Dance to the rhythm of freedom and love rest and be sure in the arms of forgiveness join in the Savior's song
Amazing love. would die for me Miss love I know it's true and it's my joy to honor you in all I do I honor you I'm forgiven I'm forgiven because you were forsaken I'm accepted you were condemned I'm alive and well your spirit is within me because you died and rose again amazing love amazing love how My king would die for me. Amazing love, I know it's true. And it's my joy to honor you. Amazing love. Amazing love, how can it be that you, my king, would die for me? Amazing love, I know it's true, and it's my joy to honor you in all I do. I honor you. You are my king. You are my king. You my King, Jesus, you are my King, Jesus, you are my King, amazing love, amazing love, how can it be that you, my King, would die for me? Miss love, I know it's true, and it's my joy to honor you. Amazing love, amazing love, how can it be that you, my king, would die for me? Amazing love, I know it's true. It's my joy to honor you in all I do. I honor you. My heart, oh God, make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God, may I be like you. Change my heart. Change my heart, oh God, make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God, may I be like you. You are the potter. You are the potter. This is why 
God, I pray. Change my heart. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. You are the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and me. This is what I pray. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. Good morning and welcome to you all, those of you who are gathered with us in person, those of you who are joining us on Zoom, YouTube, or Facebook. It is good to have you all with us this morning. In case you didn't get the word, on the second and fourth Sundays of each month, we are going to begin worship a little early at 9.30 with praise and worship. So you are in invited to join in as you are able for 15 or so minutes of praise and worship music on the second and fourth Sundays of the month at 9.30. There's one other change that, is take, that we have made to our service this week and going forward. For the time being, we are going to have a sung prayer response. So if you look on page 11 of your bulletin, if you have a printed copy or have downloaded it from our website, which you can do under the news and upcoming events page under the calendar tab on our website, www.gracelutheranchesapeake.org. So on page 11, you will see that there is the invitation into prayer, made children and heirs of God's promise. And then we will sing the song refrain, which is verse one of the song, Jesus name above all names. Our minister of music, Morgan, will lead us in that. There will be three colics of the prayer, three intercessions, and then we will sing it again, and then two intercessions, and I will close it, and we will sing it again. This is a practice that was part of our contemporary worship before we merged them for COVID. So we're trying to bring little pieces here and there to, as we merge into one worship service as for the time being. So that's a heads up about our prayers of intercession. With that being said, let us get started. I invite you to stand as you are able, and we will proceed with our confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God whose teaching is life, whose presence is sure, and whose love is endless. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins to the one who welcomes us with an open heart. God. 
God our comforter. Like lost sheep, we have gone astray. We gaze upon abundance and see scarcity. We turn our faces away from injustice and oppression. We exploit the earth with our apathy and greed. Free us from our sin, gracious God. Listen when we call out to you for help. Lead us by your love to love our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. All of us, you, me, all, have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But by the gift of grace in Christ Jesus, God makes you righteous. Me and you, all of us, righteous by God's grace. Receive with glad hearts the forgiveness of all your sins. Amen. Let us sing together our gathering song. It is hymn number 808 from the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. Lord Jesus, you shall be my song. The music is printed in the bulletin, and the words will be projected on your screen. If you're joining us online, we encourage you to sing along at home. If you're on Zoom, we do ask that you would mute yourselves. Lord Jesus, you shall be my song as I journey. I'll tell everybody about you wherever I go. You alone are our life and our peace and our love. Lord Jesus, you shall be my song as I journey. Lord Jesus, I'll praise you as long as I journey. May all of my joy be a faithful reflection of you. May the earth and the sea and the sky join my song. Lord Jesus, I'll praise you as long as I journey. As long as I live, Jesus, make me your servant To carry your cross, to do share in your burdens and tears For you saved me by giving your blood, me and blood As long as I live, Jesus, make me your servant I fear in the dark and the doubt of my journey. I courage will come with the sound of your steps by my side. And with all of the family you saved by your love, we'll sing to your dawn at the end of our journey. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O oh God, through suffering and rejection, you bring forth our salvation. And by the glory of the cross, you transform our lives. Grant that for the sake of the gospel, we may turn from the lure of evil, take up our cross, and follow your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. You may be seated for our readings. Ah. Reading 
from Isaiah. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who, have, who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn a back. I gave my back to those who stuck me, struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me, who will declare me guilty. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us recite together Psalms 116, verses 1 through 9, as translated in the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. I love the Lord, who has heard my voice and listened to my supplications. For the Lord has given ear to me whenever I called. The cord of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came upon me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our Lord is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent. I was brought law and God saved me. Turn again to your rest, O oh my soul, for the Lord has dealt with you. For you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from James. Now many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters, for you know that we who teach will be judged with great strictness. For all of us make many mistakes. Anyone who makes no mistakes is speaking and is perfect, able to keep the whole body in check with a bridle. If we put bits into the mouths of the horses to make them obey us. We guide their whole bodies. Or look at ships, though they are so large that it takes strong winds to drive them. Let, yet they are guided by a very small rudder, whenever the wheel of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a member, yet it boasts of great exploits. How great a forest is set ablaze by a small fire. And the tongue is a fire. The tongue is placed among our members as a world of in iniquity. It stains the whole body, sets on fire the cycle of nature, and it is, and is itself set on fire by hell. For every species of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by the human species. But no one can tame the tongue a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it, we bless the Lord and Father, and with it, we curse those who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth came blessing and come blessing and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this ought not to be so. Does a spur, spring pour forth the same opening, both fresh and brackish water? Can a fig tree, my brothers and sisters, yield olives or a grapevine figs? No more can salt water yield fresh. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Please stand as you are able and sing with me our gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have 
have the words of eternal life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, but who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Messiah. And he sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Then he began to teach them that the Son of God must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, if anyone wants to become my follower, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when, it come, when he comes in the glory of the Father with the holy angels. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I invite you to be seated and our youth and young at heart to come forward at this time. Good morning, everybody. Have you noticed that there are quite a few of us wearing bright yellow t-shirts? Did you take the time to look at what they say? You could look at Caleb's. What does it say? God's work. God's work, our hands. That is the tagline of our denomination, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, the ELCA for short. God's work, our hands. There are other ways to, to say that. We have some people wearing other t-shirts, like the red ones in front of us, and they say, live generously. It's the same outcome in different words. Live generously, do God's work with our hands, and like this book I read a couple of weeks ago, but I thought it was worth rereading, Partner People. This is the way that we tend God's world. Tend God's world, tend God's world. This is the way that we tend God's world, for we are partner people. This is the way that we sing God's praise. Sing God's praise all our days. This is the way that we sing God's praise, for we are partner people. This is the way that we share our bread, share our bread, so all are fed. 
This is the way that we share our bread, for we are partner people. This is the way that we live God's love, live God's love, give God's love. This is the way that we live God's love, for we are partner people. Holy, holy, holy one, Jesus Christ, God's own son, holy, holy, holy one, for we are partner people. This last page is an illustration of God's hope for all of creation, that we would all gather together and get along around Jesus' table where all are fed, where all have enough of what they need. And that is what we're working towards when we are living generously, when we are doing God's work with our hands. And no matter how old or young you are, how tall or short you are, you can be part of that, of living generously, of doing God's work with our hands, of being partner people as we partner with each other and with God. I hope that you guys will stick around at the end of worship. We are going to be packing blessing bags. You can be part of that. We're going to be outside, and there will be signs of how many of each item goes into the bag. And then the idea is that you would put one of these bags in your car, and when you see somebody in the need, as your parent or grandparent or driving you around, you would be able to bless them with this blessing bag. Just one little way to do God's work with your hands. Thanks for coming up. I also want to thank Augsburg Fortress and 1517 Media for allowing us to read Partner People, which is a Manna and Mercy board book during our live stream today. You can get your copy on AugsburgFortress.com. Let us pray together. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. As you heard me telling the kiddos throughout the ELCA, we have the tagline, God's work, our hands. And we set aside one Sunday a year as God's work, our hands Sunday. Now, a couple years ago, I had a colleague suggest that this was not the best tagline for the ELCA that it sounds a little bit works righteousness-y, that we have to do something. Because our denomination focuses so much on that it is a free gift of God's grace, and that is the source of our salvation and eternal life, which is true. And for that reason, he suggested that the tagline should not be God's work, our hands, which you might then think we have to do something in order to earn God's love. But he suggested the tagline should be God's word, our mouths. Spreading that good news to others. He liked the focus on evangelism. It's the first word in the name of our denomination, evangelical evangelical, no matter how you want to pronounce it, it originally comes from the word spreading the good news, right? That's why it's in the title of our denomination, for we know what this good news from God is, that it is truly good news, and we are called to share it with others. And this all makes sense when you keep in mind the power of of the tongue, which our assigned texts for this morning highlight in a number of different ways. It is my prayer each week 
that I might, as Isaiah says, have the tongue of a teacher so that I might sustain the weary with a word. But our text this morning also remind us how fickle and destructive the tongue can be. And on top of all of that, if you put the suggested new tagline, God's word, our mouths, in an if-then paradigm, if we use our mouths to spread God's word, then God will love us. Even evangelism can turn into a work in the works righteousness paradigm. Doesn't matter whether it's God's work, our hands, or God's word, our mouths. If it's if we do X, then God will do Y, it's not good news. Instead, the good news is always because therefore. Because God loves us, therefore we are called to do God's work with our hands. Because God loves us, that Jesus died for us, that we have been gifted eternal life, therefore we are called to spread God's word with our mouths. It is not our works or our words that save us. It is Jesus' death that kills the sting of death for the rest of us. And his resurrection that foreshadows the resurrected eternal life of which we are promised a part. As one of my seminary professors put it, the Christian life is like retirement. What are you going to do now that you don't have to do anything? Now that you don't have to get up and go to work five days a week, you get to choose what you do. So is the Christian life. Because we don't have to do anything in order for God to love us, we have a choice in what the therefore is. What are we going to do in response to what God has already done? That is why Jesus makes the point that we are saved by grace through faith, which is also a gift from God. But we are saved for something. We are not saved and then left to our own devices. We can do whatever we want. We get to relax and sin boldly in the worst sense of that term. But instead... We are saved to follow Jesus. On the ELCA's website, they explain that God's work, Our Hands Sunday, is an opportunity to celebrate who we are as the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. One church, freed in Christ to serve and love our neighbor which sounds very similar to Grace Lutheran's mission statement, which is that we are believers in Christ, called to be servants to all people. Both of these are reminders that we are called to love God and neighbor at all times in all that we do, not in order to gain something, but in response to what we have already been given, promises and life from God. We are called to use all of our time, talents, and treasures to do God's will. Call it stewardship. Call it discipleship. Call it taking up your cross and following Jesus. No matter what you call it, you are called into it. So back to the original debate that I mentioned at the beginning. Should we be using our hands to do God's work or our mouths to spread God's word? Yes. It is not an either or. It is always a both and. They are so 
inextricably linked. The work of your hands might not seem like it has a big impact. The same with your words. But remember, the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts great exploits. Because it is God who is moving through you and collectively us, great and awesome things are possible through your works and your words, through your hands and your mouths. So I pray that God would help us to be bold in our proclamation that there is absolutely nothing that can separate us or any other human for that matter from the love of God. And that we also might be bold in how we use our time, talents, and treasures to do God's will, to promote love, to work justice, to demand equity in all of God's kingdom so that God's original intention for creation might become ever more a reality in our world right here, right now. God loves you no matter what. Therefore, go do. Amen. And let us sing together our song of the day. Will you come and follow me? It's hymn number 798 from the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. The music is printed in your bulletin and the words are projected on your screen. Will you come and follow me? If I but call your name Will you go where you don't know And never be the same Will you let my love be shown Will you let my name be known Will you let my life be grown In you and you Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you risk the hostile stare should your life attract or scare? Will you let me answer prayer in you? Will you let the blinded see if I but call your name? Will you set the prisoner free and never be the same? Will you kiss the leper clean and do such as this unseen? Will you get to what I mean? Love the love you hide if I but call your name. Will you quell the fear inside and never be the same? Will you use the faith you found to reshape the world around through my sight and touch and sound? Your summons echoes true when you but call my name. Let 
me turn and follow you and never be the same in your company i'll go where your love and footsteps show this all move and live and grow in you and you in me with the whole church let us confess our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Made children and heirs of God's promise, we pray for the church, the world, and all in need. Above all names, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, Emmanuel, God is with us, blessed Redeemer, living Word. Revealing God, you have made yourself known through bread and wine, water and word. Continue to nurture your church, that it is a place where your presence is experienced and shared. Creating God, you brought life into being and called it good. Bring new creation to lands devastated by tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, fires, and other disasters. Restore forests and curb overflowing waters. Protecting God, you desire all people to live in peace and safety. Provide for all who are in danger. Strengthen first responders to help meet to the complex needs of others. Provide care and compassion as they face trauma themselves. Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord. God is with us, blessed Redeemer, living Word. Transforming God, you announce release to the captives and freedom to the oppressed. Break chains of discrimination and injustice. Amplify voices that go unheard and inspire us to advocate for those who are overlooked. We pray especially for those listed on our prayer list and those we name now aloud or silently. <clears throat> Pam. 
Travis. <laughs> Redeeming God, you accompany your people through every stage of life. We give you thanks for the saints who now rest in your embrace. Receive these prayers, O God, and those in our hearts known only to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, Emmanuel, God is with us, blessed Redeemer. Living word. The peace of Christ be with you always. Let us share a sign of that peace with one another, whether that be within your pews, with gestures across the aisle, or on Zoom. If we could get a scan of the sanctuary. Don't forget, if you're in the sanctuary, the camera is right below the TV. Share the peace with those that are joining us remotely. Peace be with you. 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 As we do each week, not just on God's work, our hand Sunday, we take time in our worship service to acknowledge that all that we have is indeed a gift from God, and we are called to use all of those gifts to do God's work in the world. There's information in our bulletin and on our website about how to financially support the ministries of grace. Ask Rich to pray our offering prayer. Let us pray. God of abundance, you cause streams to break forth in the desert and mana to rain from the heavens. Accept the gifts you have first given us. Unite them with the offering of our lives to nourish the world you love so dearly. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. If you haven't already, I would invite you to gather elements so that you might... Uh, join us in the celebration of the Sacrament of Holy Communion. Bri uh, bread, wine, or grape juice. Jesus knows where to be, regardless of what exact elements you have. We begin our celebration with the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Holy God, our bread of life, our table and our food. You created a world in which all might be satisfied by your abundance. You dined with Abraham and Sarah, promising them life and fed your people Israel with the manna from heaven. You sent your son to eat with sinners and to become food for the world. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his life given for us and his rising from the grave, we await his coming again to share with us the everlasting feast. By your spirit, nurture and sustain us with this meal, 
strengthen us to serve all in hunger and want, and by this bread and cup, make of us the body of your Son. Through him all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. All who hunger and thirst come. The table is ready. Where you are able to gather with others, I encourage you to serve one another using our traditional words. If you are not able to serve one another, hear my words as pure promise. The body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. You may be seated, and I encourage you to sing along with our distribution song, which will be projected on your screen. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. rising sun oh lord have mercy on me let us drink wine together on our knees let us drink wine together Please stand as you are able and let us pray. Lord of life, in the gift of your body and blood, you turn the crumbs of our faith into a feast of salvation. Send us forth into the world with shouts of joy, bearing witness to the abundance of your love in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. People of God, you are Christ's body, bringing new life to a suffering world. May the Holy Trinity, the one God, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. You may be seated for our announcements. If you are joining us on Zoom and have an announcement, I would ask that you would put a note in the chat so that I know to spotlight and call on you. If you do not have the chat ability, unmute, 
wave your hands, call out to us so th that I don't inadvertently ignore somebody again. And if I do, I apologize. I can't see a lot of people on Zoom. Are there any announcements from in the sanctuary? Marlene and Jane, I see you. We're, we're going to call on you. Marlene, go for it. Thank you to the men's group for mulching all of the flower beds during men's group yesterday. We are very thankful for that way that you have done God's work with your hands. Uh, let's spotlight Jane. Jane, if you are unmuted, it's for Charlotte. Speak up loudly, Charlotte. Hold on one second. We can't hear you. She's asking for prayers for Downingtown Church of Messiah. We were devastated by the flood. The entire first floor was. I think we got that. I'm going to say it one more time <laughs> that we are keeping Messiah Lutheran Church in Downingtown, Pennsylvania in our prayers. They lost everything to flooding. Is that the gist of it, Charlotte? Um, okay. Other announcements. Faith here in the sanctuary. So there were a couple of prayer requests there from Faith, uh, neighbor's mother who died, friend's father who's in the hospital, and Tracy's mom who's also in the hospital. Okay. And you know, if you would, if you would write those down for me. Thank you. Are there any other announcements? Not seen in the sanctuary. I'm going to scroll through. Not seeing anything else on Zoom. So I'm going to pop back up on the chancel so that Chasey, Casey doesn't have to chase me anymore. <laughs> if you hadn't gotten the word from the Young at Heart message and from the sermon or from all of the bright yellow shirts, it is God's work, our hand Sunday. And we do things throughout the year to do God's work with our hands, to be servants to all people. But today in particular, we're going to have a service project right after worship. Thank you to uh, Jacob and Randy who are setting it up. So if you go out the front doors, I think that's the direction they've set it up. It might be the end that you're going to hit first, but y'all are smart. You're going to pick up a bag a gallon Ziploc bag, and then follow the signs to f pick up the proper amount of each item, put it in your bag, seal it, and then either leave it there for someone else to pick up or take it with you 
and leave, have it in your car when you encounter someone in need throughout the community, you can hand over a physical blessing. So those of you who are with us in person, we invite you to pack a bag or two, help us with that. Please do make sure that you sanitize your hands. Uh, you can grab the hand sanitizer from the greeters station uh, before we pack that just so that we can do our best to control spread of germs. This week, Monday, there continues to be no Bible study. We will be on hiatus till the middle of October, but there is a preschool board meeting on Zoom at 5.30 p.m. Tuesday, there is a council meeting on Zoom at 7 p.m. And on Wednesday, we will continue to study the book of Nehemiah on Zoom at 7 p.m. Next Sunday, we will resume kids Sunday school. It will be in person on the playground right after worship about 1045, depending on how long sermons are. Um, so join us weather permitting out on the playground or in the fellowship hall if there's inclement weather. Kids kindergarten through fifth grade. If you're a middle schooler or a high schooler that would like to help out, please contact Joy Baltero or Vicki Frankel. My last announcement I have is that there is a, on the table in the narthex uh, the new uh, iteration of the Live Generously t-shirts. If you have not yet picked one up, you are welcome to. There are a lot of adult sizes out there and just a couple of youth sizes left. Hopefully, if you need youth sizes, you have picked them up in the previous order. If you would like one and there is not one in the size you need, let me know. And the next project we do, we'll be sure to order those. Seeing no other announcements, let us stand as we are able and sing our sending song, which is from the new hip hymnal supplement, All Creation Sings. It is very fittingly, God's work, our hands. God's work, our hands working together, building a future, repairing the world, raising up homes, planting new gardens, feeding the hungry and sheltering the cold. Bless God, our hands as we work in your name, sharing the good news of your gospel. God's work, our feet traveling together, following Jesus to places unknown, walking as friends, marching for freedom, running the race with God's future, the goal. Bless God, our feet as we follow your way, sharing the good news of the gospel. God's work, our voice singing together, praising, proclaiming to all who will be, praying for peace, shouting for justice, claiming God's love for the lost and the least. Bless God, our voice as we speak in your name, sharing the good news of your gospel. God is at work in and around us, savings are sprouting and beds on the rise. Washed and set free, humbled and honored, gifted by grace we respond to God's love. Bless in our lives as we answer your call, sharing the good news of your gospel. You can head out the back door like you normally would, drop off your red baskets, your communion trash, and your bulletins, and they've started from the end of the portico, and you'll work towards the double glass doors to fill your blessing bag. Go in peace. Christ is with you.
Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Good to see everybody.